In today's video, I'm going to show you one of the best ways to beat man coverage in Madden 23 out of the bunch formation. Now, this is a really, really good little play to beat man. Uh, you don't have to call your bunch the short side, but it is helpful because what you could do is just simply put short and elite on everybody. And then if you always run your bunch to the short side, technically they would always be inside. Now, we're going to use play mesh post out of Washington playbook. Washington playbook, I believe, is the best bunch playbook right now in the community and if you want to learn my entire washington offensive ebook where we cover bunch bunch tight or a bunch open tight end and then uh, gun tight the link to do so or the link to check that out is going to be in the description now for this setup here really simple um, as far as what i like to do here uh, all we're going to do is we're going to c route our solo receiver this is one of the best ways to beat man this year make sure you are c routing your solo receiver i think it is super 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 important then what I like to do with this is we're going to drag our tight end, we're going to streak our slot receiver, and we're going to re-wheel our running back and motion him to the right. This is going to create a 4 by one set, and we can have this little quick throw to the back. This quick throw is really good, especially if they are going to uh, blitz you. I'll show you what I'm getting at here. So let's say that they're going to blitz you. One of the most popular adjustments this year would be to do something like what you see on screen. Then what they're going to do on the back side of this is uh, chances are they're going to do a defense that looks kind of like this. Okay, so what we can do is whenever we motion this running back on the wheel, this can really help against an adjustment like this. Um, or even if they're just using the running back, this little quick throw right out here quick um, is really effective for beating you know, any kind of pressure. Um, which is going to uh, which is going to then force them uh, to have to do something else. I'll show you this one more time. Again, we'll just set up kind of a spinner style of blitz, and then we'll show you uh, why this is so good. So again, everything is going to push this in, and then you got that route right there that is really effective for beating man pressure. So now they're going to have to adjust to that. That could mean a lot of different things that they're going to have to do but they're going to have to adjust to that route, right? So now they have to do something, um, you know, again, like, man, the running back, man, the linebacker up on this guy, and then maybe they have to do something like this, right? It just kind of gets them in a position where, you know, they're not able to send as much pressure as they want to. Um, they get kind of, to a degree, um, out leveraged, right? So, you know, now they can do something like, Maybe man that guy up on the tight end, um, you know, maybe something like this, okay? So this is just kind of a general, this is what they might do in this situation. So they motion, or you motion this guy across. Now if you remember, who's going to be manned up on the tight end? Well, it's going to be this guy. So we can throw this quick, especially if we have short and elite. That right there is a really, really powerful read. Now what your opponent is going to want to do uh, this is just my opinion is generally they're not going to want to have to like mess with the running back. So they're going to want to be able to just do something like this. And then if the running back comes over here, they're going to have a zone or they're going to use her over with the running back. So what this is going to then open up is everything on the back side of the formation. So, you know, you can do this concept again looks like this now you see oh my solo receivers one-on-one -on -one. I could throw that with a pass lead up or high point to the left side I'll show you that real quick here you know so again you know now they're starting to have to adjust everything you're doing everything you're putting on the field and you see how good the C route is for beating man to man it's even better I think this actually route I really do think this route gets better when it's completely isolated. There's nothing over there. Um, I just find that that route is really powerful. Um, so now they have to have some help. So maybe they outside third that guy on the left and they drop a hard flat over here, you know, and then now the middle is going to open up. So you've got all this action here and then you'll see my tight end in route is really a great read. Um, if they're stopping those first two quick hitting routes, then you, chances are you're going to have the skinny post um we have this little clear out streak uh that is really good so you'll see here this clear out streak will clear out any deep zone any third anything and then you'll see like right on the cut this route is super consistent against man 
So if you can throw that right on the cut, it's very helpful and you know real simple to be able to beat man. This play is also really good against zone, and I'll show you the setup. Uh, the setup doesn't change, uh, but we can just attack uh, a lot. So the running back quick to the flat is a really simple read. If it's zone, it's not a terrible throw. Um, it's actually a really simple read and uh, really effective against zone. So what they're going to have to do to stop it is they're going to have to have some variation of a shaded down zone coverage. So here you see, here's a hard flat. You see, I can still throw it, maybe break a tackle, get up quick. Another thing that you can do on a hard flat, um, again, this is, zone's definitely not the meta. Most people aren't running zone. And if they are running zone, chances are you're going to have a pretty decent level of success. Um, you know, but if he's hard flatting here, I can wait on this wheel. And you see how open that's going to be. So the wheel route really does a great job of breaking down any kind of zone that they're going to do. So let's say that they maybe do maybe make an adjustment. So they're going to do something like this, uh, you know, and they're still in a good cover three, good strong cover three shell, you know. And then you kind of you see you look here. Oh, he's able to guard that, but now look who's wide open. Now my post is wide open, breaking down zone coverage. So then you might say, okay, well, um, what if they did this? So what if they you know, user the post route, which is basically what they have to do. They pretty much have to user the post route. It, it's one of the best routes in the game this year. The beauty of this drag, especially this drag this year to the tight end, is it's going to get in this little soft spot, and it's going to drag across the formation really well. It's a nice check down. So even against drop eight, drop seven, which you're not going to see a lot, um, this is really, really powerful. Now, if you wanted to, you could put the tight end on a baby in route too. Um, that's not a bad idea. Uh, his space, he'll just be a little bit better spaced with this. And then notice your cover three, you've got, I mean, you've got that post route. They have to guard the post route all the way through the play. Um, and that's what makes this such a good route. They have to stay with the post route. If they don't stay with the post route, it's really an easy read for you. And then you'll also see here that this C route, you can actually cut this off against zone fairly decently. So I'll show you two different zones. That was cover four, but let me show you cover three. So if they are in cover three, cover three is probably the best thing they can do um, to stop this C route. But what you'll see is when we run this to the short side, we can actually kind of cut this off. And you don't want to highball this. You just want to basically throw it normal. You don't even necessarily, I don't think it makes a lot of sense to free form this ball. And again, this is a little tight of a, this is a tight throw. Um, but if you're looking through here, you're just going to pass it down and away, click on, and then you're going to turn them around and ag it um, in front of the third. So, you know, again, super simple. Um, and that's cover three. Now, cover two is a little easier uh, to beat, in my opinion. Cover two is not really the best way to play zone this year. I actually think cover three is pretty decent. But what you'll see is if it is cover two, um, you're just going to throw it over the cloud. The deep half has to respect your skinny post. So if they're playing any kind of cover two on you, I mean, even if they have a middle third, this is just not a great formula. So again, we'll show you the play. So we're looking right. They've got good coverage right, not there. They're user in. But then we see, oh, it's cover two. I could throw that over the top of a cover two cloud really, really easily. So you see how effective this is. And please don't sleep on your drag as a late read. So let's say that they're running something like this and you know they're using well and they're able to stop your post. They got somebody to stop the running back wheel. Everything's kind of breaking down and you throw your drag for you know 10 to 15 yards. So against drop eight, I really do think the drag is a really it's a really vital read here uh, for a lot of reasons. Um, I think it's one of the most important pieces of this play. So, you know, let's say that they're gonna send some heat at you. Um, remember, they have to use the post. They have to use the post. It's so important that you see that. So, let's say that they're, you know, they're they're gonna blitz you, and they run a defense like uh, like this, for example. Let me get this guy on the slot receiver. So they've got this guy here. So they're usering right here. Now the running back is going to the flat quick. They have to go guard the running back. So again, their defense is going to look some, something like this. Now they can even drop this guy in a hook curl. It doesn't really matter. If they run to the right pre-snap, 
then you're throwing the ball right in here and you want to be okay with taking that as a quick read then what will happen um, over time here is the more you the more you uh, the more you rep this play the more you'll be able to make this read and normally speaking normally speaking that safety is not going to be in a hook curl that's like an adjustment they're going to have to make um, you know when they're setting this up typically what's going to happen is they're going to have you know this kind of coverage this guy's probably going to be on a flat and then this guy is going to be in man-to-man -man on this guy this is a very common adjustment from bunch and then when they see the running back go to the right side hard flats don't get out there this year so they're going to have to go over to go guard the running back so what this does is now their user has to go to the right they go to the right you throw right there boom okay so really important and then if they start putting the hook curl out there then they're going to have a whole other series of issues with some of the other plays in the bunch formation. So anyways, really, really effective setup for Mesh Post. One of my favorites to beat the Blitz quick and just one of my favorites in general this year. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn the entire Washington Offensive eBook, make sure that you join the Patreon. Uh, the link is down in the description below.